This is my mini split heat pump. It's supposed to be doing both heating and cooling inside my super insulated house. But this thing has failed on me several times, cost me thousands of dollars. I'm pretty fed up with it. So today I'm going to attempt a DIY recharge of the system to see if I can keep it limping along a little bit longer. If you're a professional HVAC guy, this is probably going to make you cringe. Heating capacity says 12,000 BTUs per hour. Cooling, 9,000 BTUs per hour. It's an inverter driven unit uh, with up to 27 sear. So this is not a how-to, but I'm just going to give it a shot. Just one screw here on this cover. I bought this simple kit on eBay for $140. So now I've got to somehow connect these things up. I believe this goes together. This valve here is turned off. And I'm going to screw this on. So some pressure just jumped up in this gauge. So right there on the gauge it says 120 PSI. I'm turning this on to cooling mode and setting it as low as it will go. And it looks like we're dropping down to, I don't know, this keeps dropping, this uh, pressure here, from like 110 or whatever it was. From what I understand, I'm supposed to hold it upside down and do little tiny bursts. So that's what I'll be doing here. Then there's this other thing in here. It says typical operating pressure is 118 PSI. But again, I don't know if that's, you know, I mean, these are variable speed inverter driven units and I don't know, so I'm just gonna go a little bit, see how it works. <laughs> okay, we're up to about 50. We were at 25, and uh, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going real slow with it. Well, it looks about 75 PSI, so we're getting there. This unit has cost me over five grand and has never worked for more than two years uh, straight without a service call. Uh, every time I've had to get a service call, uh, they've remade the flare fittings. Uh, I've had this line set replaced. They've had to evacuate uh, the refrigerant. They've had to recharge it, put it under vacuum. And it's just been this really frustrating battle. I've, I've tried two different companies uh, and it has failed after both. Uh, after you know after a year or two it, it's probably not the technicians it's probably just this Fujitsu unit uh, you know I probably just got a bad bad batch or something I don't know from the manufacturer and never caught it quick enough to to get it back under warranty all this past summer we actually worked with a uh, window air conditioner in the house now this window AC I've had in two apartments before this house and then we moved it with us to this home. So my window AC is nine years old. It was 120 bucks, but I can replace my window air conditioner four times over with brand new units for the same cost just to have somebody come out and look at this. So it's, it, it's tough for me to, to recommend these anymore. I would much rather just have a window air conditioner instead of this unit. Uh, now, you could argue that, hey, it does heating, and that's true. You know, if you have a COP of three, and you're, you're getting three units of heat energy for every one unit of electricity that you put into it, that sounds like a great deal. But I'll tell you what, when you're sitting on the couch in the living room, and this thing goes into defrost mode, it hits you with cold air. That doesn't feel great. We got up to about 110 PSI. 
And uh, so I'm gonna let it sit for another hour and then I'm gonna turn it on in heating mode and see if we'll get any hot air. Oh, it's showing a red light. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Okay, so this thing's turning on and I set the remote to 78 degrees and heating. So let's give it a minute. Well, this thing is blowing, so let's see what we've got here. Good. Still going up. It says 109 degrees, 112. All right then. So it is heating right now. Well, I guess that's how you can make a repair on a unit. And uh, for $140, I might get another six months out of it. Who knows? Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.